I've been drumming since 1976. I've been back home now for two years trying to bring this piece into the Hartford Public School System. There is so much about drumming, society drumming, the purpose of drumming, and the benefits of drumming for adults and children. So hopefully that will happen soon. This drum precedes what you're about to see, which is some parade drums. My name is JC McCauley, and you're watching Access TV. Org. not only of uh, African American, but it's a celebration of everybody's culture.
uh, I believe that once you grow up children in tradition and in understanding the rituals and the diversity and empower them on the seven principles that allow them to be economically sustainable, that allows them to be able to uh, interact with different cultures, uh, different races, different ethnicities. All of that is incorporated in the seven principles of Kwanzaa. It allows us to address um, the difficulties around us, to be able to sit down and talk together with different groups. We don't need to be separated or segregated. We need to be unified on the one front. We should be able to invite our neighbors, our community, to all Kwanzaa activities. And Kwanzaa, like you said, should be celebrated all year round. It's not just the seven days of the, that we enjoy and uh, celebrate the principles, December 26th through January 1st. It should be part of our daily lives and our lives and our life uh, in our daily lives, the way we go about um, meeting people and use it as a tool to better and to even improve your own attitude and your own life skills and attitudes towards others. We spend a lot of time with the kids and a lot of the kids, uh, they, they, they've, they've been places that I don't think they ever thought they would ever reach and they like. Um, Terry and them can tell you a little bit more about their accomplishments. We got awards, they got trophies. Um, they just came in first place in Philly in one of the competitions that, but this is, that's all, that's all kind of things. They, they've done parades on top of parades. They perform for the Yard Goats, you know, and we take kids from all areas and all ages. Uh, from four, I think, to 24, around about that. So that's about it for me. I don't really do the talking. I do the background work. Bobby Kusi is my mother. <laughs> I'm not a big talker. But what I will tell you that we've been having fun. We've been very busy. So this is like how many parties we celebrations every day this week. I've been with the kids, so we're kind of tired. So I really shined up. So we have a few drummers here. Everybody is not here, of course, because I've been running, we've been running around all week. But I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. And that's it, stay, you know I don't know. Okay guys, um, I'm a parent for HPD. Um, my daughter has been in HPD since probably out in the womb. Um, <laughs> Terry and Duffy is actually family, so of course she did, they, just, they don't never leave her out of nothing. Um, it's been an asset because my daughter actually um, loves to do it. She loves to dance. She wakes up, go to sleep, uh, brush her teeth, dancing. So it's a good thing for the kids to do. Uh, and I think that's about it. My children have been a part of Harvest Proud since ooh, last year, September. I thought this was going to be a phase that we was going to go through for a couple of months. But it has now been over a year. Yes. <laughs> It's been over a year and a half, and I have to absolutely say it's more like a family. They've made bonds. They have sisters that live outside their household that never go home. Um, <laughs> it's like one big happy family. They've been places that they probably would have never been. They've been to Niagara Falls. They've been to Philadelphia, New Jersey. So they begin exposed to a lot. And I have to thank Duffy and Terry and Mama Kusi because if it wasn't for them being a part of their lives, like, I don't know what they would be doing. I probably at home aggravating me, but... It really is a joy being a part of HPD. We stay busy, they stay active. It's never a dull moment, and it's all year long. Full-time commitments, like having a full-time job. But I love, love them, and I love the team. My mommy comes up right now and points at me and be quiet and go up and talk with us. Okay. Right, all right. Duffy, I'm the director of the drummers from Harper Town. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit about what it takes to get these kids where they are. It takes hard work, dedication, focus, and energy. I mean, I just say it takes a village to raise the families, and I have a village to help me raise these kids. I mean, I'm not by myself, I'm not alone. It's me, my wife, and the rest of these parents that have these kids with us. I mean, um, 
We couldn't do it without the community help. We couldn't do it without the parents' help. I mean, um, we also couldn't do it without the kids wanting to help themselves. Um, these kids hit gun violence all day. They look at the news and see the shootings and the murders and all that. But when they're in the presence of Harford Proud, none of that exists to them. Their academic levels are skyrocketing. They came from F students to be A students, B students. Uh, we try to block out the negativity that goes on in our community with the music that we bring. Um, we are a show style band. We also have girls. We have babies. We have teenagers. We have adolescents. You know, our, our youngest is five, um, six. We start them at five. We try to breathe them into try to breathe them into leaders and um, make them become role models into their community. Hmm? Oh yeah, the younger is five. No, she's about thirteen, but y'all, you know, y'all look at it, y'all see her age, but she's thirteen. Mine's seven. <laughs> Twenty-five. Um, but our kids, our kids today, we try to make a role model into the community, not just into the community, also into their life. I mean, we try to make them become more, more, more independent with themselves, uh, understand themselves, love themselves. No matter what shape, size, or color you are, or gender you are, love yourself. I mean, if you can't love yourself, no one else will. But like, like I said, our, our, our team, we're not a team, we're not an organization, we are a family. So when you, when you come into here, you can merge into a secondary family. You know, we help by any means necessary. School work, homework, at home, outside of home. When you're not present, you're not present 24 hours a day, no matter how I look at it. But um, I can make it even more clear, I make it more better, you know, bring my team on up. Let me get my girls and my, um, my guys on now here. Woo! My girls, my guys, let's go. It's just a portion of them. You know, we got seniors, we got seniors, we got older ones, but right now it's just a portion. We have almost 80 kids that's up there. We deal with them almost seven days a week. We over 24 hours a day. 365 days a year. We are a traveling team. Competitive. Uh, very competitive. First place in Philly. First place in Philly, that um, not too long ago, in the step division. Uh, the drummers, as the two years undefeated world champions, we're working on our third. And, uh, this is just a fraction of what y'all see. But y'all don't get the idea of what we do or how we do it. And how, I mean, it's not easy. They can tell you this stuff. Right? It's not easy, but we're going to give it to y'all. We're going to give y'all a show. Step up. Zoomies! Give it to you one time! Give it to you one time!
nice to see uh, a combination of the of Kwanzaa uh, celebrated and uh, also remembering Christmas, uh, which was just yesterday. But there's so many positive things going on in the city of Hartford that parents and their children are doing. And the school, and, and, and we need a place to hold our different events. So it would really be a good idea if the schools were open uh, on the weekend so that um, different organizations could use the facilities. And then also in the evening, some of the men folk and the women folk like to come out and play sports. And it, it's, a, it's a safe place for people to be. And uh, parents will know where their children are. Uh, kids will know where their daddy is. He's at the school playing sports in the evening. So it's the, it would really be great if the schools were open on the weekends and there was access for the community to use the facilities for all the different purposes, meetings, perhaps even church uh, events, uh, major uh, uh, at, um, extracurricular activities, gymnasium open. It's for the good for our health. It's good for our social. It's good for us to um, just to gather together in safe places. So I think this is something that is very much needed in the city of Hartford. We used to have it years ago. Yeah, the schools there, used baby. to be open, and they need to bring that back. When I was growing up, every school had a night nice thing, no matter what school you was yeah. at, whether it was Clark or Fox or Weaver. We always had a night gym. There was always something to do. There was still Park Memorial, but you know, we need things like this to have, like you said, the youth have something to do after school. When it's Christmas vacation, there's nothing for them to do but play video games or, you know, things that's not constructive. So I think it is a good idea that they have the schools open at night. And on the weekend. And on the weekend. <laughs> like she said, all the vacations, they need yeah. to be open. You know, give them something. You gotta go to school at night. And as you can see this evening, we had the seven principals and we had stilt walkers of, of African American, Irish, and older people and younger people because this is what it's all about, bringing our culture together. And Kwanzaa's principles is based on universal law. And if we practice the Kwanzaa principles every day of our lives, we would be practicing love. We would be practicing unity. We would be practicing all those kinds of things that bring harmony and which my God is looking for us to do every day of our lives, not just these, this one day of Kwanzaa or these seven days that we practice Kwanzaa.